Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. So I'm back in the garage to talk to you about the new 12 speed Shimano Durace electronic shifting. Specifically how to check the battery level in your main DI2 battery as well as the coin batteries in your shifter levers. Okay, let's get to it. First off, this tutorial applies only to Shimano's newest versions of their DI2 road bike group sets being their 12 speed Durace, Altegra and 105 models. While there are similarities between the 12 speed and past 11 speed models, there are enough differences that you should refer to your Shimano manual or the bettershifting.com website if you have one of those older versions. With 12 speed DI2, there are three main ways to check battery levels on your electronic group set. One, LED indicators on the DI2 system itself. Two, using Shimano's E2 Project Cyclist smartphone app. And three, using a compatible cycle computer. All of these are good to know because you'll probably want to use them all at some point. But if I were to pick just one method that is an absolute need to know, I'd say it's the first one, the DI2 system itself. Why? Because it's the only method that allows you to check your battery levels having just your bike on hand. The other two methods require either your smartphone or cycle computer paired with your bike. It's a good idea to get into the habit of checking your DI2 battery levels at least one hour before you go out riding just to make sure your batteries haven't drained dead unexpectedly. If they are empty, you then have enough time to get them charged or replaced before you roll out for your ride. Having used different DI2 systems for over 15 years, I've only had this happen twice, but it was enough to make it mess up my rides and for me to get into the habit of checking my battery levels before each and every ride. In the older versions of 11-speed DI2, there was only one battery to worry about, both derailers and the shifters were wired to it. With the introduction of 12-speed DI2, Shimano has now gone to wireless shift lever connections. This means that we now have the main Bluetooth hub battery powering the front and rear derailers with the replaceable CR1632 coin batteries powering the shifters. Shimano claims that you will get around 1,000 kilometers before having to recharge the main DI2 battery and up to three years for the replaceable coin cell batteries. My experience is that I get more life out of a single charge than what they claim, maybe around 1500 kilometers for the DI2 battery. So pretty darn good. Okay, now onto my tutorials on three ways in which you can check the amount of battery life remaining in your DI2. The first way I'll show you on how to check your DI2 battery level is on the DI2 group set itself. Press and hold both shifter levers at the same time and the LED indicator will come up as either green indicating 11% to 100% battery remaining, red for 1% to 10%, or no LED means the battery is dead and needs replacing. Remember that there are batteries in both levers, so don't forget to check the left and the right levers. To replace the lever battery, simply pull back the rubber brake hood unscrew the coin battery cover, and then pull out and replace the CR1632 battery. DI2 Durace and Altegra models will have a single coin battery per lever, while the 105s will have two per lever. Now, to check the main DI2 battery, press the function button on the rear derailleur for less than 0.5 seconds. The LED indicator will show solid green for 51% to 100% remaining charge, flashing green for 26 to 50%, red for 1% to 25%, and no LED means the battery is completely dead and needs recharging. Make sure to just briefly press the function button as holding it for between 0.5 and 2 seconds will cause the LED to flash blue, indicating that it is in Bluetooth pairing mode. If you want to charge your DI2 battery, simply plug the charge cable that came with the DI2 group set into the charge port of the back of the rear derailleur and plug the other end into an adapter block or computer. Fully charging the DI2 battery takes about an hour. The second way to check battery levels is with Shimano's E2 Project Cyclist smartphone app. I already covered off how to use this app to customize your DI2 setup in a previous video, so make sure to check it out if you haven't done so. 
Start by pressing the function button on the rear derailleur for 0.5 to 2 seconds until the LED starts flashing blue, indicating that the unit is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Now, open up the eTube app on your smartphone. Wait about 15 seconds for eTube to establish the Bluetooth connection. It may ask you if you want to change your pass key. Choose later to continue on. It will now retrieve information from each of your DI2 components, in this case from my Cannondale Super 6, and you should then get a confirmation that your DI2 is now connected. Now I'll tap the bike profile name. In my case, I only have one profile set up for my Super 6 road bike. It'll take you to the customized menu and display your individual DI2 components. Select maintenance at the top menu bar. Under the status heading, you will see three battery indicators, your left shift lever battery, your right shift lever battery, and your main DI2 battery. As you can see, the app is showing two of a possible four green bars, indicating that my battery level is at around 50%. You may also see a battery indicator level beside each of your two shift levers. But for me, I have to reestablish a connection with the levers to get this status updated. So I tap on the left lever icon, which then prompts me to press any button on the lever. I do this and then immediately asks me to do the same for the right lever. Now you can see that there is a dot beside the coin battery icon showing the battery life remaining. Green is 11% to 100% and a flashing red is 10% or less. And that's it. You can now disconnect the Bluetooth connection and close down the app. The third and final way to check your DI2 battery levels is with a compatible cycle computer. I'm using Garmin Edge 1040, which supports DI2 connectivity. I've added a DI2 battery level data field, which I display on my second activity screen. It shows me the amount of charge remaining in my main DI2 battery, as well as my right and left shifters. Four bars in the battery icon means fully charged. If you don't have a Garmin, check to see if your cycle computer supports DI2 connectivity. So there you go. Three easy ways to get readings of your current DI2 battery levels. No excuse now for not having a good charge on your DI2 before starting a ride. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe as it allows me to produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.